This is Jeff Mucci with RCR Wireless News, and on today's uh, IoT Innovation episode, we're delighted to have Rob Chandok, who is President, Chief Operating Officer of a new company making news and making waves today called Helium. Uh, Rob, thanks for joining us. Oh, it's nice to be here. Thanks, Jeff. Before we dive into your announcement this week, why don't we talk a bit about a session you set in uh, in on in San Francisco talking about the Germany Industry uh, 4.0 initiative. Yeah, it was actually pretty opportune. I had gotten invited to it by a, a friend of mine and um, actually got to hear about the initiative from, from the gentleman who coined the phrase uh, Industry 4.0. And it was interesting for me because in, at Healing, we've been thinking a lot about industrial enterprise. And what I saw was a real focus in the EU on a part that is, I think, less clear in the United States, which is around the standardization of processes that have to do with work in the factory. Um, the other thing I observed is that they're also very focused on how do we use IoT to help make the, the working environment better? How can I make it better for the employee, for the factory worker, for the more than just for the knowledge worker? What were some of the, uh, any, any more specific key takeaways that you gleaned from the session? Um, actually, for example, how they do make it better for us at work and, uh, you know, some of the maybe potential challenges of, of uh, uh, bringing IoT to, to uh, the manufacturing floor. Uh, I think one of the things that was interesting to me because it's a topic that, that it's a topic that I've really thought about a little bit, which is how you bring machine intelligence out when you're in an environment uh, wh where humans actually have a lot of the expertise. And, and the one thing about a lot of the manufacturing that Germany talks about is it's very skilled manufacturing. It is a highly skilled workforce. And they work on very complex things, whether they're building, you know, equipment for fabrication of silicon circuits or they're, you know, building very high-end other uh, electronic or machinery kinds of uh, tooling. And what they were using the IoT stuff for, in addition to machine intelligence, is making it more flexible for the worker to be in there. So if somebody uh, could rotate through five stations and maybe uh, someone was sick that day, they could have a machine come in and assist. So it's more than just... Uh, just being a pick and sort kind of thing, they actually could know what the task is and actually be handing tools and parts to the worker at the time and maybe helping them to place them. And that in a lot of ways make, made the people more productive without taking away their work. And there was a lot of stress, at least I saw in the presentation, about how that partnership could work. And I think that's actually a really interesting way of applying machine learning and, and uh, what people call artificial intelligence. Yeah. Well, last week I was in Shenzhen for a Huawei Developers Con Congress, and uh, one of the central themes of that program was the Internet of Things and, and connecting it to the, the physical world. Uh, they also talked a lot about big data and, and cloud, but I'm, I'm kind of curious from your point of view, before starting Helium, you were at Qualcomm. Mm -hmm. um, we're seeing initiatives in China. We're, we're, we just talked about this initiative in Germany. Uh, you're, the EU as a whole has an initiative they're calling Horizon 2020. What are you seeing kind of from your chair around the world in terms of adoption of IoT technologies? And then maybe talk a little bit about vertical markets uh, from your point of view. I mean, uh, IoT, let's, let's start by just, you know, making, talking about the elephant in the room. IoT is sort of a very broad term. It can go from everything from heavy industrial sensing uh, to precision agriculture to consumer electronics. Like you could argue that, uh, the new Amazon Echo is an IoT device for the things that I worked on at Qualcomm, which is the, the all-join open source uh, protocol and system, which is the Alcyon Alliance. All of those things you could argue are IoT. And uh, uh, what we've tended to focus on and what I've sort of been working on for the last year at Helium is really the part of IoT that is about that sensing and control of the physical world. So if I look around the industry, you'll see it divided up by segment. Not, I think not surprisingly. So the folks that are thinking about connecting new things to the internet, which is really what IoT is about, are thinking about in the segments where they think it will make business sense for them. So you would have a com company perhaps like Apple or Google maybe thinking about how do I connect things in the consumer's home, like what's going on with Nest or what's going on with HomeKit. Um, and for Helium, we probably fit a little bit more into where companies maybe like a Cisco or a GE or maybe some of the big consultancy would be thinking about, which is how do I solve business problems whether they be manufacturing or, or, or anything that involves an interaction with the physical world, how do I make those things better, make those processes better, make maintenance better, make, uh, assist my uh, workers better? 
in, in the segment that I'm already very comfortable in and all that I have basically a practice in. Mm -hmm. Well, let's uh, take a short break and then uh, I want to come back and talk about your announcement this week that's been making waves on all the tech uh, blog sites um, and then talk a little bit more specifically about the company as a whole. But uh, again, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back in a few minutes. All right. I'll sit tight.